it's Ashley Krieger, the art teacher, and this is Eat! And this I'm is Connor. And today we're going to learn about Michelangelo. But in Italian, it's Michelangelo. And, and his full name is Michelangelo di Lodovico Bonarotti Simoni. Simoni. Let's just go with Michelangelo. He is a famous artist and he lived 500 years ago. Do you guys know somebody else who lived 500 years ago? Leonardo da Vinci. So he lived from 1475 to 1564 and he lived to be 88 years old. Whoa, that's a lot longer. And they both lived in Italy. Do you remember where Italy is? Europe! Good! Italy has a lot of great artists and art masterpieces. And someday we can go visit one of the oldest museums in the world. Cool. There. Michelangelo was considered one of the greatest artists in his lifetime. And now he is considered one of the greatest artists of all time. Ooh. His most famous works are the Statue of David, Pita, Creation of Adam, St. Peter's Basilica, and the paintings in the Sistine Chapel. As you can see, he was not just a sculptor, he was also a painter, an architect, an engineer, and even a poet. What's a poet? A poet is someone who, who writes poems. We know Michelangelo <laughs> was creating art at a very young age. It is said that as a young boy, Michelangelo was sent away to study but he showed no interest in schooling. Okay, but he just wanted to copy the paintings from the churches mm -hmm. and learn from the painters. That's weird. Yeah, he was trying to learn how to paint. Okay, and one of the easiest ways you can learn to paint and draw is by copying first. At age 13, he was chosen to become an apprentice. So he became an apprentice of a very important and great artist, Ghirlandio. <laughs> Ghirlandico. I totally didn't say that right. Do you guys know what apprentice is? Uh, uh, it's someone who's apprenting. It means he's printing, printing. papers. <laughs> no, he's not printing papers. Okay, an apprentice is a person who goes and works for someone for free or for really, really cheap so that they can learn from them. Guess what? What? Because Michelangelo was so good at what he was doing, just a year later, he started to get paid for it, which was rare at his age. You guys, if you get really, really good at something, then you become irreplaceable. Bye, yeah. guys. I'm going to go get irreplaceable. <laughs> and when you're irreplaceable, People will pay you because they can't pay anybody else. Please, when pull up your ears and put them other ones back on. He sculpted his two best works by age 30. Show Whoa. me them. Michelangelo created huge masterpieces that required hard work and lots of time. He also solved gigantic problems <laughs> to make incredible art. He had to get the stone for his sculptures from the mountains, and then he had to find it in the mountains, cut it out of the mountain, put it in a cart, because they didn't have cars, remember back in those days? Wow. Then he had to drag it to where the ship was at, and sometimes he had to build the road so that he could get it to the ship. Then they put it on the ship, and then they would get to the, a place on the ship, and then they had to take it and put it in a cart and drag it all the way to his workshop just to start sculpting. After he got it, it's just this brick, this like no form big rock and he had to create it into something, a form. What? He had to take special tools and cut away at the rock. All this dust would get into his face and he would get sore didn't want to stop to eat and he didn't want to stop to sleep and he would work for hours and days and months and even years. That's why he's so famous. He loved it so much and he was driven so much to actually finish his work that he created such great awesome things 
and he also liked to work a lot and he needed his alone time. I know someone else who needs their alone time. Alone Captain time. always wants her alone time. <laughs> <laughs> I need my alone time. Today we're going to make sculptures out of bars of soap. It looks like somebody already put a toothpick in the soap. Let's, Let's be creative! For this project you're going to need ivory soap. This is the best kind of soap for this project because it doesn't crumble. You're going to need something sharp. I use a mechanical pencil sometimes or toothpicks. Older kids can use a pocket knife, a butter knife. For younger kids you can take a popsicle stick and cut the end and make a nice blunt edge. You're going to need a marker for drawing. If you have one, you can use a cheese grater so that they can get large chunks off very quickly. I almost forgot you're going to need toothbrushes. If you want easy cleanup, go ahead and put something underneath your work area. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose a simple design. Now I want you to be creative, but I want you to think of something that you can draw right now simply. So what's something that you can draw that's really simple? A penguin? And what can you draw that's really simple? Steve. Steve from Minecraft. Okay, if you can draw it, then you can carve it. So go ahead and take your permanent marker and you can draw your design on your soap. Make sure you clean off your marker. So the next step is you're gonna take your sharp tool and you're gonna go around where your drawing is. Okay. So the next step is that you can take off large chunks. You got to be really careful because it could take off pieces so you don't want to get too close. Just take off the biggest chunks. Make sure you don't get too close to those lines. I follow on the line. Don't follow right on the line, okay? Listen carefully because if you follow right on the line it could break. Whoa, got off a big chunk. So here's a trick. You want to just shave off little pieces. Okay? So like, say you want his arm right there. If you just shave little pieces off a time, at a time and kind of pull out like this, in, out. See how you can easily take part of it off and then you're not jabbing in and then accidentally taking off part of his arm. So once you get the large chunks off, you can start shaving very slowly, small areas closer to your lines. This is where you start forming your shape. And then just use whatever tools seem to be working best for you. If something's not working, try another tool. your basic shape you can start forming it. You can see on the back here it's not a form of a flower and I don't want it to be this thick anyway so it's okay. You can also take your cheese grater to get rid of large sections and just grate it down to the size you want. See how easy that was? What you can do to smooth out your lines is you take your hand and you just go back and forth to smooth it out so that it's a smooth a lot of art has to do with tools. Using the tools that you have to create what you want. Just practice with them and you'll keep getting better and better. Back to Minecraft Zombie and I like Minecraft and this is its popsicle that has brains in it. <laughs> this is a penguin that I made and it's super small. Let us know in the comments below what you sculpted. We are learning art history the entire school year. If you're new here, you can check out the Leonardo da Vinci video that was before this and go ahead and subscribe for more fun art lessons like this one. Subscribe! Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.
We had to go running in between all this. I a couple years ago I did basketball and I and I still have a 12 feet. What do you like to do? Gymnastics. It smells so strong like soap. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Next week. Gotta clean up this mess. Neville. Yes. Never. Or it gets worse. Uh -oh. I'm going okay. to make a fruit kebab. There's a fruit kebab. You'll see. I'm leaving. Okay. Bye bye, you don't get to try my nummy fruit kebab. Yeah. It's gonna taste wonderful.